This is the um, uh, orbital medical facility. We had a sort of call for information through the Sierra Nevada company or corporation. And so we got some general ideas from them and then we ran with it. Uh, you've got NASA's planning on starting to go back to the moon uh, and onto Mars. Uh, you've got commercialization with a multitude of companies. There is no current medical system available for casualty transport or for what I've termed uh, stabilization for transport. With this, it's kind of a test bed. So we're moving on to a roadmap of what to do, how to do it, uh, injuries stemming from activities on the moon. Uh, I know mining is something that, that NASA wants to do and they're pushing for, but accidents will and can and will happen. Um, so how do you get a medical casualty from the lunar surface back to Earth through all that g-force of re-entry if they're not stable? Um, I foresee that honestly this, this system would be the first of its kind. To my knowledge there, there are no other um, other companies or, or groups researching a space hospital of this, of this nature. Currently this is part of the life, life module on the uh, lunar gate, uh, NASA's Lunar Gateway. Since the life module's crew is four, so they, they, they assume a crew of four at all times, so there are four, four crew stations, I wanted the, the emergency area to be able to handle all four crew. It's hard to do to think when you're designing something in 3D in, in, in space with microgravity that there is no wall, ceiling, or floors. It's, it's just a big space. But to think that you are floating while designing this. The other part is the design for this to not only be utilized by someone in plain clothes or a jumpsuit, something you'd wear on station, but also an IVA suit. That um, severely limits your ability to move. So when we go further into the design of this on placement of switches and access panels and whatnot, it will be designed with that envelope in mind. To me, human-centered design is designing the product with the human in mind first, rather than the human factors of, of making changes after it's designed to fit the human. So we start with the human envelope, we start with the human. It's intuitive, it makes sense to you, it's easy to use. You don't have to have a list of procedures to use something simple. I think positively, but I always think of negative things as well. So I try to look for all the things that could go wrong and mitigate for those. This is kind of interesting because now I'm taking that what could go wrong and rather than mitigate it, fix it to begin with. Like prevent it from happening at all. I want to be an astronaut. I will keep applying for the space program until they tell me to stop. That's my, that's my dream. So if I'm going to design something, I might have to live in someday. I want it to be right, you know? <laughs>